Right, welcome back everybody. This is another part on this day van build. This is a Vauxhall Vivaro long wheelbase. And what we're doing today is we're gonna be insulating the floor. So we're using the Royal Sonic Gold. And this is uh, five meters of this row I bought. Uh, it weren't very dear. It was about 20 odd quid. And it has an overlapping facility there. So when you roll in, you just lay that under and roll on top of the overlap there. So I will be spraying this down with some spray glue. And then any joints, I've got some aluminium tape and we'll just uh, go over any joints just to make it one sealed solid piece. And once we've sprayed this down, we'll be laying the new floor that I've got. I've got 11 mil ply OSB board I've pre-cut ready and we'll be just screwing it down to the ribs that we've got in the van already. As you can see, I've put some little black lines in, um, in the middle of some of these ribs. I'm not going down every rib. We've done about every fourth or third rib. So I'm gonna get this done now, get the spray glue ready. I've cleaned the floor best I can. There is still other bits on it, but that's all, it has had a good cleaning degree. So that's the best I can do. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna get set up, get the spray glue out, undo this, and uh, get me standing off, put a new blade in it. Get yourself a new blade. It's good to uh, have a sharp blade when doing this, so. Right, so I've cut myself a, a strip down. So I'm just gonna uh, get it up in this corner. So I wanna run it along that edge there. And then what I'm gonna do is just get my knife. And we're just going to score around this with arch. And this is my first time in doing this, so you might be seeing me do something yes, I'm doing it a different way to what you'd do it. I say it's all trial and error. push your insulation into your creases and then just uh, cut along it basically. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get my spray adhesive and just start to spray some down. It's not very bright in here I'm afraid, I've got no internal lights and um, it's a bit windy so if I did open the side door or the windows you get quite a lot of wind noise so Right there, so that's the one side of it done. And as you can see, I've uh, I've pushed it in between the ribs. You can't really see it very well on this uh, gold foil, but get your hands down the ribs, or I was using the end of the Stanley blade handle, or I was just using this rounded off screwdriver, just to literally run down them uh, channels there. And you can just slightly see it from the angle. So I trotted it right in them uh, ribs. So what I can do now is we can just fold this bit of foil back across all the way along. We'll run the second piece in and um, I'll see if I've got enough to do these uh, wheel arches and we'll maybe get them done as well in today's video. And then once we've got this uh, foil on the floor, we'll get the OSB floorboard in that I've cut ready and hopefully we'll get a few screws in and that'll be the floor all secure then. 
So as you can see, I've got them black lines up there. They're just in line with the ribs. And we'll go ahead and screw them down. So let me just do this second half and I'll come back to you once we've done that. Right then, welcome back everybody. As you can see now, we've got the um, floor done. I've managed to do the floor line, the arch liners as well. They're not the best, but the four-way stretch carpet will pull them right back. So what I'm going to do now is I've got my um, aluminium foil tape. And as you can see, we've got a good overlay over this joint here which they allow for anyway but i'm just going to uh run a bead of tape down there all right then so pull it out straight yeah so the wind's picking up a bit it's uh even pulling that up a bit and then that will roll just there like that so that's uh, going to protect that join now and I will just go around the seams of the wheel arch right folks so as you can see I've put all the silver tape now I've gone all around any uh, joins or rips there and anything and I have gone right round the outside of the perimeter as well I mean I've watched other van builds and people don't seem to go right around the outside but I thought I would just do that just to uh, neaten it up and uh, just close off any gaps at all around that so I've gone right around it is a bit of a fiddly job it's probably took about 45 minutes just to do that probably the worst job so far that I've had to do on the van was that but what we're going to do now is we're going to lay this floor in so I'm just going to get that in Just bearing in mind not try to try and rip this uh, insulation. There we go, we're in now. So now we can just slide that in. And it might be a bit uh, tight this floor now. Obviously we've got the insulation on both sides around the wheel arches. Uh, side in and all that fits nice and then last of all we've got this piece to sit at the top And again, that's a, a nice job that. I'm happy with that. So as you can see, we've got a nice uh, finish here. And what I'll be doing here, the little black step that comes in there, it's just a small one there. I won't be using that one. What I'll be using is the one they use for the crew cab. And that's a big black step. And it will come all the way there and cover that whole foil patch up. So you don't get them on just the standard vans. You just get a basic uh, small little step. So I will be buying a crew cab step or minibus step. And that goes for the same here as well. Where people uh, actually try and board them in and carpet them. But if you actually buy, if you actually go online and go for the... Look for the crew cab um, seat belt sleeves. The crew cab actually have the plastic that go all the way around, so it's a nice finish. Uh, they obviously cut these down because of the bulkhead, you see. So that's just a little tip there. So it's say if you're trying to struggle, trying to make something up, you can actually buy the crew cab ones, and they are moulded plastic all the way around, and you can get the plastic trim to go along the top there, and you can also get a trim to go down there plastic as well so but i'm not sure how far i'm going with the crew cab parts i think i might just go for the side bits because obviously um i might just carpet that in the the four-way stretch carpet and up for the top there once i bring the roof down you won't see that beam anyway so that's what i'm looking at so i'm not sure if i'm using the four-way stretch carpet on the roof yet or if i'll be using another material but 
I'm thinking once I do the roof, whatever colour I do it in, even if I do it in the stretchway carpet, I might go ahead and do this roof line as well because it's a bit uh, tatty there. It probably would clean up again. Uh, but I might just carry the whole roof like into one section so it, it just brings it all together. But what I'm going to do now is, as you can see now, we can still see my black marks. So I'll go down there and I'll whack some screws in just uh, all the way down. Just hold the floor into place. And I was just having a look at this wire here. On the, the Vivaro, there's a big black piece of black trunking, a bit like this, but it goes right down this side. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually do away with that. It has some uh, clips on here where it clips onto. Mine's actually in the front of them, and it's I took it out just to uh, get the floor down. But the only reason it looks like it's here is for this cabling, obviously. But I don't know if I can take this bit off and actually reroute this cable behind it, even if I have to drill a hole, just unplug it from down there and then just drop the cable all the way down there. So it just saves having that big bit of plastic there and then it'll just match the other side like that. And I can just get some more of them little grills because them two are missing there. Uh, and I could just get another five all together and put them in there as well and then just carpet that and have it as a nice finish. So that's something else. So I'm just going to go ahead now. I'm going to whack some screws in. And uh, once I've done that, I'll come back to you. Because uh, we'll be nearly finished then. And I've just got to say a thank you at the end of this video for a little gifts I've had. So see you in a minute. Right then, folks. So that's me screwed down now. Um, I didn't have the right screws really. So I did have to countersink these screws that I've got. So there is a little hole there. I will just dob a little bit of filler over them. Just so if we do come to lay a vinyl in here or a lino, we don't see them little holes. So I'm not sure what route I'm going yet, if I'm going to go a, a lino or a laminate floor in yet, I don't know. Or even a carpet, who knows. I've just got to be careful and all, because I've just broke the tripod. So you're just balancing on the top there. So, But I did receive this in the post. This is off my Amazon wish list. Um, if you do want to support the channel, there is an Amazon wish list there. And there's a few bits on there for the day van build and also for the other stuff I do the cars and the bikes and the lawnmowers and that but there's been a lot of interest in this day van and I've got a little gift here from Kevin Pritchard it says enjoy your gift really enjoy the van build hope this helps good luck with the project from Kevin so really appreciate that Kevin and this is gonna really benefit the project and what it we got there is we got um, eight switch there so you can have light switches on there you can have your whatever you want on there you've got usb sockets you've got a 12 volt socket as well you've got a little voltage um voltage meter there and i say you've got two um usb sockets as well so that will come in handy so i can have eight different things on switches there really happy with that so again thank you very much kevin and i say if you do want to have a look at the amazon wish list the uh, link's down below so, really happy with that. We'll put that note back in there. And also, I did receive a tip as well, because there is a link down below for a, a PayPal link and um, the thanks button, just along from the like and dislike from the thumbs up. You nearly went then. Nearly knocked the tripod, and that would have been you gone. Yeah, so I say there is a little um, super thanks button. And that's just uh, another way for uh, sending a little something in to go towards the projects. Whatever I do get, go straight back onto the project. So uh, I did receive a, a PayPal from Gary Ross. And he sent a little note with that. He told me to get some uh, pink fluffy dice from me in Mondeo. But as you all know, the Mondeo is going up for sale soon. I've got a couple of you subscribers interested. Um, I haven't put nothing out about it yet because uh, we're actually just when i bought the vehicle there was a crack on the lower of the front bumper and i never repaired it basically when when i when i, had, when I was using it so i wanted to get it done before i put it up for sale because if i'm going to sell it i want it to be nice and right for the next owner so we're actually um doing a video on that i think my dad's going to be showing that on his channel where he's actually painting it in his new spray booth so he's going to carry on with that he's going to finish that on um probably his retro restore channel because he's going to uh, paint that that'll be the first thing to be painted in the spray booth so we should get a nice finish with that 
So yeah, back to the fluffy dice, Gary. I can't hang them up in there because they won't be in there for long, mate. And I can't put them in here because the van don't have a rear view mirror. So what I've done is I put the money towards this um, wood floor because I actually bought this this morning. So I bought two sheets of this. This is 11 mil, this is. And it comes to um, 1850 a sheet. So you're in it for 37 quid there. So anyway, I want to say thanks again to Kevin and thanks a lot, Gary. And uh, the next video on this, I've already got the stuff. It's going to be four-way stretch carpet, doing all these panels. Uh, I've got, I think I bought f actually 15 square meters, or 15 or 20 square meters. That's more than enough for what I need. So I bought that, and I've got 10 cans of spray glue. So we will just give this another little once over, getting all the debris and crap off, so the glue gets a good fix. I've still got the original side paneling. And I'm hoping to use that as well, but I won't be carpeting that yet. I want to get all the fronts done, all the pillars and everything done, because I want to use the old panelling through the fascia plates as well. So we are uh, really moving along with this fan, actually. It's uh, it's taking shape. It's, uh, it's I'm really pleased with it, actually. I think on, on, once we've done the four-way carpet, I think we're going to have to start looking at maybe ordering some uh, wires and getting some wires running and uh, think about doing a roof panel as well so i'm not sure what size how thick a roof panel i need so if i say if any of you are watching that have done this and you've done a roof panel uh what sort of uh thickness should the wood you're using what what are you using plywood osb ball what just uh let us know i say i say it's all new just watching a few vi youtube videos myself and uh just going from there basically so any helps appreciated but yeah so i'm gonna leave it here for this little one and next video, four-way stretch carpet, hopefully, doing all this. And it'll start to feel like a proper van, and I reckon, once we've got that four-way stretch carpet up. So, until next time, thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Gary. We'll see you about. <music>